What is going on my friends? Ken the Gamer 04 and welcome back to LA Nor. We are going to do the Fallen Idol for this episode. I uh thank you guys so much for the um support lately. Um I love the comments. Keep them coming. Uh I love the support. We're at 297, I believe right now. Uh, 297 subscribers, so we're three away from 300, so if you like this video, please smash that like button, and let's get going on the Fallen Idol. <clears throat> well then. Isn't this like literally oh, up the? Kowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? A Chevy Styline took a nose dive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. Anyone at rest. Oh, that's nice. See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. <clears throat> All right, so we got a female driver, passenger crash crash site. Um How do we get up there? I want to make comments about it. You know you I wonder how you get up there. I'm gonna have him drive though. Can you drive to this one? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make him drive. Why not? If he'll hurry up. Oh my! Almost getting hit. Mm mm mm. Almost getting hit. But we gotta go investigate this care. 7.50 a.m. Yeah, yeah, that tow truck ain't gonna do it. I don't know how you're gonna, um... Her face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard. <laughs> Tarzan's sister, Beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Interesting. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad, considering. If she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Hamilton. She's just a kid. Pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to central receiving. If you want to take a look around, you can start the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Interesting. Hey, out of the way, bub. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. I appreciate it. Can we, like... Can we take a look around up here? Mrs. McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name, June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. No. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Oh, God. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of you? Beast of... I don't like. Keep out of this. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! We understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. But who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. You just said that rat, though. It's a serious offense to withhold information from the police during a criminal investigation, madam. Madam. I told you to call me June. You're making me feel like an old lady. Get and your ass out of here. Your handsome head about this. My husband will settle the score with Mark Bishop. 
Mm, Mark Bishop, eh? You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? Yes. He's a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry about. But I'm gonna doubt you right then and there. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. Pressed him on it. And this is where I end up. Okay, cool. All right, now we have to go. This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. I was gonna say, where's the coroner? Is he in his vehicle? Is he where? Where is he? There's the corner right there, so it looks like he's down there. So let's kind of take a little jog down here and see what's going on, yeah? Hmm. You'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk. And that isn't even the best part. Oh no. Is something in the trunk? No, we have a California plate right here. You Union six eight mm, Mitch? I forgot the oh, I forgot the okay whatever. We're just gonna I'm not even gonna try and fiddle around with it. But you take out some bushes, eh? Or a tree. Do 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 Looks like they're lucky they weren't more badly injured. I'm Must glad. Being relaxed tends to lessen the soft tissue damage. Interesting. Before I go... Oh, okay, so I just... Okay, okay. Alright, let's see what's all this stuff. What is this? They've been torn off. Where did you find them? They were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Ew. And what's in here that we may have to worry about? Dear Jesse, please, please, dear, come home. She's a long way from home. I cry for you every night, your loving mother. Hmm. Interesting. So now what? Now what? Is there something on the front of this car that we have to be so worried about? Now what? Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. <laughs> what? Is it real? No. I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? Yes, I do. What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Oh boy. Hmm. Another day, another dollar. We should speak to Ballard again. She might not be telling us the whole story. I mean, well, we can most certainly talk to her again. Try and figure out what's going on. As long as the ambulance hasn't left. Eh, it wasn't necessary to drive over the- or hump over the- Jump over- what the hell, whatever. Alright. Um, injured female passenger. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? Um, I mean, I'm gonna lie. I think you're lying, 
Mrs. McAfee. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? Yes, we do have proof, I believe. I want to say it is the underwear. Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Whatever happened after that is between her and Mark Bishop. So uh, you're saying that he might have raped her or something? We found a shrunken head. Yeah, what's a shrunken head? You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. Hmm. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. Uh, no, you're not. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? How are we supposed to Mr. find that out? I think it would be in everyone's best interest if you accompanied Patrolman Gonzalez back to the receiving hospital. I'm going to be okay. These guys can take me home after my lawyer and I have talked to the news house. Mrs. McAfee, you are still under the influence of narcotics, and you're likely to go into shock once the drugs wear off. And I thought you were a heel. It's nice of you to be concerned. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. I mean, we might as well. I want to see. Excuse me, officer. I want to see. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. Will this make it into the paper? You tell me. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. Okay, where is this central receiving hospital? Consciousness at Central Receiving Hospital. 11K Roger, en route. Oh, my God. Ew, that was dumb. All right, let's back it up here. We obviously have to go down this street, it looks like. Oh, okay, you know what, you know what, we're just... All right, let's do an illegal U-turn. You got something against Sirens, Phelps? No, uh, maybe I do, actually. Let's try and go this way now. Oh, I could have went down there. Gosh dang it, you know? This is why I'm making my partner drive. This is why I make my partner drive instead of everyone else. Or in instead of me. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up now. Dude, go. I was pressing E. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Never knew it does you boo hit if I okay I'll shut up. Hello, Detective <clears throat> Phelps. Here to interview with Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Oh yes. She's in the room right behind you, Detective. I appreciate that. Hold me here. Oh boy. No, I don't Feeling better since this morning, Jessica. Doctor. I need my lawyer. Hey, my head where is so the funny. telephone? Do you know who I am? Oh, is that the jail? Hello, Doctor. I'm Detective Phelps. You're attending to the young lady from the auto accident? Yes. She's conscious now, but I doubt she'll remember much. She's still feeling some of the after effects. Jessica was drugged? She certainly was. Chloral hydrate would be my guess, and there's clear evidence of abuse. She's still a minor, Detective. Someone planned a double murder to cover up a statutory rape? Swaps seven years for life and gets Guy McAfee on their case? Doesn't make much sense to me. I guess it depends on what they had to lose. Okay. Well, let's go talk to her now. Hello, Jessica. Hello, Jessica. Uh, my <laughs> name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. Oh, that's great. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. 
Um, okay. Uh, can I get the crash incident report? Can you tell me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Nothing happened? Dude. That's a lie. Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. Um, we're gonna have to go with the underwear again? We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I... I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. That that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. I had a boy back home, but my father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. Um, contact with parents. You need to get in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. Are you sure about that? No, 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 no. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, detective, why would I lie to you? Dude, are you? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, yes. Because you're a runaway, Jessica, and you don't have your parents' permission to be here. Exactly. You want to tell me what really happened? I went with Junie to this strange place. It's difficult to remember. Someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves, and then I felt faint. I think I must have passed out. Hmm. Okay. How did you meet Mr. Bishop? Well, Junie is a big movie star. You probably know that. She's doing a new movie. Okay, but I... I don't know. What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McCaffrey? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday, like they worked it out. What's the, uh, I know what criminal happened, abuse? Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Hmm. Jessica, I really need you to help me here. I remember the mermaid. Was the mermaid in the movie too? No, it was on the front of a building. We pulled up in front of the mermaid. <laughs> okay. You, Jessica, you've been a big help. Here's my card. If you think of anything or you need some help, just get in touch, okay? Okay. I think it might be a good idea if you went back home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? Are you going to find him out? Uh, okay. Well, it's the tale of this town. <clears throat> Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be our lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. There she goes. Come on. Why are we following her exactly? Ballard is definitely up to something. have made a remarkably speedy recovery that is true
Uh, too close, Phelps. Way too close. That ought to do it. Now get back in close. This is interesting, I'll say. Why are they just pulled over? Get in there and see what she's up to. Why do you want me to take cover at the door? That's one heck of a Sunday. Where is she? Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Okay. Sure, I got the film. I'm just going to wait for her to leave. Story. I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McCaffrey's wife in the first place. Or he'd done the job properly. McCaffrey will break a fella's legs just for looking at the problem. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. Oh, Jesus. Oops. Well, Ballard was doing someone a favor. Why did they try to kill her? KGP Delta NE unit to 459, they're now at 267 South Main. Unit to handle code 2, identify. All units in the vicinity in car 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park, 11K, code 3, all other units, code 2, KGPL clear. Gun it! Get to the apartment before someone gets hurt. Where is the apartment? I think you gotta make a left here. We'll find out. Should have made the partner drive, for God's sake. There's the hotel right there. Oh boy, this is gonna get fun. This ought to be fun. Do the cops? I tried to stop them. It's it's room 803, left out of the elevator. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Tell me about it. This sauna get good. He said to the left. Look, lady, I can pound you or I can pound your husband. Which one is it? Give it up! LAPD! 
Fine, you son of a bitch. I curse you and your children. I'm about to break your goddamn jaw. Come on, you little Should've asshole. Tangled with me, friend. What's up? What's up? Ouch. You know what? We're gonna, we're just gonna beat him up. You know, it's whatever. Yoink. Oh, keep swinging. I like a nice breeze. And I like a nice hockey fight with goalies going at it too. Are you injured, Mrs. Bishop? I'm all right now. Those horrible, awful men. So who is this, Gloria Bishop, Perhaps I guess? You sit down, ma'am. Yes. Yes. I don't know. Forgive me, officers. I'm very flushed. I'll just sit down for a moment. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Take a moment while we look around. Yes. Thank you. Just look at this mess. So weird. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Obviously not, but the thing made a noise, so I just had to pick it up and be like, yo, what's up? Where? Oh, cop, come on, dude. I doubt it. Every time I hear that, I'm like, oh, wait. Yeah, what is the. Oh my god. Maybe if. What? You know, useless, obviously, but still, it's like, it's whatever. New Testament? Oh, what's this? I don't think so. Mm. Well, I don't know, You they make they make the noise, so I just kind of pick it up and be like, yo. Eh, no. Don't say anything. Hmm. Optimistic, Cole. <laughs> Listen, I'm just trying. What's this ring we got here? Not everything here is going to be relevant. I know that. It's just... Come on. Evidence. Evidence, damn it. Evidence. What's this? What do you have to do to earn $20,000? That is true. I wonder. That won't be of use. Probably nothing. I don't know, man. It's presented to Mark. Hmm, the saddle. Silver screen props. Five dollars. What's this? But for what though? This is anything. But for what though? And this is probably nothing either. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Looks like the old movie set downtown. Kind of does. I don't think I remember getting this far into the story. Great Wall of Babylon. A replica of a replica. Hmm. Interesting. Oh my god. There's so much of these, like, clue things. Nope. Yeah, no. What about that? Looks sussy. Circumstantial. Circumstantial. Sure looks like it. Yeah, that's nothing. I have to check. Now, who is that? Looks like we found our mermaid. Who are these men in the picture? 
My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood, they work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Hmm, interesting. All right, well, we've ransacked your entire apartment, so we're going to talk to you, my dear. Um, domestic disturbance. Men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? I'm going to give married you the to benefit of the doubt Have here. Of her? Any second, no. That slut. Oh. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell true? us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Sure about that? June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. <laughs> Okay, where's the whereabouts Where can of we find your husband, Bishop? Man? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Eh, I'll give you the truth. Where we find him, or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Okay, well, what's the check for 20 grand? Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Dude, it's the check. It's gotta be the check. Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Uh, okay, abuse. Your husband was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He sure told me about he that. He's looking at locations. The picture's been cast. Really? Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? Yes. The truth is, my husband likes them young. Ew. And you think that's okay? Yeah, really. I was 16 when I first met him. Oh, good lord. I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Well, I gotta use the telephone now. Move it. Operator, give me R and I. When are you uh, er, putting me through now. now? How can I help, Detective? Phelps, one, two, four, seven. <laughs> How can I help, Detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks, ma'am. Figueroa. I can't even say that. Oh, boy. All right. I guess we gotta get out of here now. I mean, that's really it. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, a movie producer's wife, We're finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Obviously not. Okay, so now we have to go. Where do we have to go? 
think we gotta go to silver screen, right? Okay. My partner is driving too. He will not. I will not be driving. Driving can suck. It. You're behind the wheel. You're behind the wheel. Any day now. Come on. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Yeah. You'd think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet man redecorated her apartment. Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the cat. Um. The heck type of classical music was that? I swear, if I get hit with a copyright... I don't think I will, though, because it was like a few seconds. But still, I swear to God, if it happens, someone is going to get their butt kicked. Hmm. The mermaid. The mermaid. The mermaid's kind of naked, wouldn't you say? Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh, Christ! I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. Yeah, lead the way. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm gonna take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. Um. Well, where can I go? I'm sure I can take a look at all this crap. It's nothing. What's this? Doping a 15-year-old kid and abusing her in a screen test. What is wrong with these people? Hmm, interesting. We got poison here. That's... But what's this? We've got heads. But these are fake heads, obviously. These are not the real deal. And if they were, I'd be blurring them out. Of course. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. One-way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. Interesting. Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. Isn't there a way back here? Yeah, I'll look at that. Can't be that way, Phelps. You couldn't fit a rat through there. Ah, you never know. This doesn't pertain to the case. I, you know, like... Not gross, if you ask me. Um, looks like I'm going outside then. But where, though? Wow. Oh, boy. What's this? Bishop. 
Oh, Jungle boy. Drums, 8th and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. You don't say. And what's this knife? It's a big knife. You don't say. Mark Bishop, Jessica Hamilton. So what happened to the film of Hamilton's screen test? Right, what what happened? And what's that second thing? Is this more of the poison? No. Fair enough. That is sick. <sighs> it's kind of sick if you ask me. Okay. I need to shut that up. Oh, these are the heads, but again, again, there's nothing. Oh, would you look at that? That sure looks familiar. That sure looks familiar, eh? Now what? Oh, we got that. I don't want to see the story. I'm pretty sure we took a look at that. Anything else I should be aware about? I don't know. Let's go talk to this guy first. See what's up. Maybe there's something I gotta talk to him about. Do you know the association with you Bishop? You do any work for Mark Bishop? Mainly do work for the studios. RKO, Republic, Warner Brothers. So yeah, when Bishop was doing work for a studio, yes. When did you last see him? Now I'm doing work for his next picture. Still pre-production though. I haven't seen him around here in a while. You lying son of a- I know you're lying, Hopgood. Bishop was here and you know exactly what he was doing and what he left lying around afterwards. You come in here without a warrant and now you start throwing your weight around? Um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna go with this. A 15 year old girl. Okay, that tells me that was correct. At a casting house. I found the chloral hydrate in your drinks cabinet. You give me something or I will break your fucking jaw, hop good. Bishop was here with June Ballard and the girl. A, a lot of producers and directors use this place. I I'm not responsible for what goes on here. Oh, for God's sake. All right, whereabouts? McAfee's men are looking for Bishop. We need to find him first. Any idea where he might have gone to ground? If he really tried to kill McAfee's wife, my advice to him would be to leave town. Sure. You're delivering props to Jungle Drums on 8th Street? Bishop is using that old rundown wreck of a set. That place is dangerous. Okay. But it might be a good spot to hide. Interesting. What's the relationship with What's Ballard? What's the deal with you and June Ballard? Look, buddy, I make props. I hardly ever meet the talent unless it's something tailor-made for them, like a sword or something. You liar. You and Ballard are blackmailing Bishop. That's why he cracked. It's the film canister. Me. My hands are clean. The now. film canister, for God's sake. Oh, my God. Where is it? Where is it? It's this. Enough. Yes. I've been in your peep room, Hopgood. I've seen your smut pictures in the camera setup. You made a movie of Jessica. I found the canister. The deal is I get to sell the movies to burlesque houses and private collectors. These movie guys love seeing their cocks on screen. But part of the arrangement is I never film their faces. June had me film Bishop, and then she kept the movie for insurance. He went apeshit when he realized his face was front and center. Who has the film now? Who else? McAfee. Okay, evidence of the blackmail? Ballard had what she wanted. 
Where does the money come into it? What money? Dude, you liar. The lies. I told you I get my cut selling dirty movies. Twenty thousand dollar check. Your ex was getting twenty large <laughs> from Bishop. If I, I knew to it. Skim like twenty from Bishop, we do it through the movie budget. Oh my God. June said she'd sell him the film once the movie had wrapped, but guy wanted cash. He's in a cash only business. You think I had a choice in this? That's all for now, Hopgood. We're taking you in. Phelps. Roy Earl, advice. Hold on a moment. This is clearly a vice case. You've been roughing up my informant? Hopgood is a vice informer? Yes, he is, Phelps. What? A very important one. Look at that mug. Have you been upsetting these two officers, Marlon? So we just drop it? You do if you know what's good for you. You need to catch the movie producer before an angry husband does, from what I'm hearing. I'll be making a full report to the captain, detective. You do that, kid. We're all very impressed with you. Let it slide, Cole. Let's get out of here. Holy detective. crap. Johnny Goldberg. You work for Mickey C. That's right, detectives. You wouldn't happen to know the guys who roughed up Mrs. Bishop earlier today by any chance. No, no, not us. We don't do that kind of thing. It's the husband we'd like to talk to. This is a police matter. You don't want to be taken in for obstruction of justice, do you boys? You could try the obstruction rap, but uh, it won't stick. We could beat that. You've had your 10 cents worth, gentlemen. Bishop knows how the world works. Mrs. McAfee hits him up for a movie part. Happens every day. But Bishop takes it a step too far and tries to rub out Mrs. McAfee. Naturally, Guy is going to get upset. What made you think Bishop would be here? We figure he might be planning a little accident for Hopgood, too. Those two guys have got some unfinished business. You let us know if you find Bishop. Guy McAfee can be a very generous man. I'm only going to warn you once, gentlemen, to stay out of this. This is a police matter. We will be bringing Mark Bishop into custody. <laughs> At least he's polite. Kind of dumb, but polite. But I'm a lot less polite, you smug son of a bitch. So let me put it in ruder terms that even a pair of blockheads like you might understand. <laughs> the only reason that you don't have bars on your windows already is because you're small fry. And we don't waste our time on small fry. You stay away from Bishop, and you stay away from me. Is that clear enough for you, asshole? Now run along back to your boss so we can pat you on the head and tell you what good boys you are. <laughs> oh, like oh, boy. Oh, well, looks like we've got to invade him now. Right? Closer, Cole. They really don't want anybody getting the fishing before they do. Keep it steady. I'll try and bust his tires. Good lord. We need to lose those fools, though. They can chase me all they want, for all I care. But I'm getting away. Make a move! We're sitting back here! Oh, sorry guys. They still behind me? Yes, they are. Either give me a good shot or get us the hell out of here. I'm trying to do that. They don't know where we're at now, looks like. Good measure, I'll turn down this street. And then I'll kind of jank down this street too. <laughs> Let's see him chase us now. On to the movie set, folks. Let's roll. Oh, Christ. And they say working traffic is like watching paint dry. <sighs> you know how to piss people off, Bukowski. Hey, 
If they're prepared to gun down cops in broad daylight, McAfee really means business. Seems like we're the only ones who want Bishop alive. I have a good mind just to let him go work on the son of a bitch. I'm about done putting my life on the line to protect some child molester. That's our job, unfortunately. Oops. They don't get to... Did you read about the woman who stabbed her husband? Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tab. Location. We're gonna go to the jungle drum set. Why not? We're just gonna go code three. Why not? Who says we can't go code three? Sounds like we got a turn right here. Oops. Yeah, that's a lot of damage, wouldn't you say? Oh boy. 5.30 p.m. That sure looks scary, wouldn't that be? There's a slippery bastard now. No. God damn it! Get him, Phelps. I'll cover the exit. Mark Bishop, stop! LAPD! calling KGPL, requesting assistance at 8th and Francisco, the abandoned movie set. My partner is pursuing suspect on foot. Code 3, KGPL. What's up, buddy? How far? Oh, I think we go way the hell up there. I remember. I somewhat remember this scene. This is all a big mistake. How is it a big mistake? You were the one doing it. You're gonna get your hours worth here. It looks like. It's also McAfee's boy. Good boy. Good lord. Get the hell out of here, Ow. You maniac. I knew he was gonna try something like that. Like I say, where'd he go? Good lord, this is getting crazy. Oh! Oh! Ha- Oh, okay. Do we- Mark Bishop, stop! Okay. LAPD. I wonder how we do that. That's a good question. I'm just gonna wait for him and see what what the next action is. We're trying to help you, Bishop. This is all a big mistake. So when we get to that part, I really wonder how uh, that works out. Obviously, the officer. That's weird. Okay, I know we come over here. What the hell? It's Marco McCaffrey's boy, your choice. Now, my question is, let, I didn't let's do anything. Oh, do we run across it? Hands in the air, Bishop. Move another inch and you're dead. Okay. 
Bishop, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of June Ballard and the rape and attempted murder of Jessica Hamilton. All right, I'll come quietly. Just don't kill me. If you found me, then McAvee's goons will too. Oh, we need we need to get out of here. Oh boy. All right, but you stay close. Any tricks, and I'll save McAfee's boys the trouble. Follow me. I know another way out of this place. Oh, this doesn't look good. Christ, detectives are trying to kill me. Last chance to back the hell down. Son of a bitch shot me. McCaffrey doesn't make the rules. You hear me? I'll do it again, too. I'll shoot you. Kill them for God's sake! I don't want to die! Uh, LAPD, you're making a big... There's no way out of here. I thought you said you knew where you were going. We have to jump for it. What do you mean we have to jump for it? It's the electric chair. Come on, it's this way. God, they're everywhere. Can't hit him from there. You have to get out of here. For a dead man. one up there Wait, I don't want to die here Oh my god Jesus, dude. I should have known that bitch. Was... He's there! Right there! Kill him! This thing's no chance. How do we get over there, though? Can we use a can we use like a long gun or something? Stay with me. Holy crap. Sounds like the guy is dead. How's he? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I gotta go down, down. Okay, okay. I got you. I'm sorry, I was just trying to figure out how to do this stupid thing. Wait, how did he get down? Alright, let's go. Now! Bro, how'd you get down, though? Wait, 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 wait. How'd you get down? Oh, right here. Shoot those sons of bitches! Bishop, that's enough! I see. Good lord. 
Oh, we got more people to kill? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Ooh, I'm gonna die. Sounds like the guy's up above us. Stay down. Oh, he's right there. Bye bye. Oh my good lord. Follow me. We need to get him to the car. More people? Are you kidding me? Jeez Louise. God. Now this is what I call <laughs> oh, boy. Mark Bishop, erstwhile film producer, an all-around piece of shit, catches a fast ticket to Quentin for statue rape and attempted murder. So he gets to spend the next 15 years playing sissy instead of sticking it to little girls. That is justice for capital J, Detective Phelps. Felt such a reputation, I'm not gonna be able to hold on to you any longer. You're getting promoted. Go on, get your new assignment. It was good working with you, son. Wait, new assignment? Bukowski, this your work? Can I help you, detective? Sorry, Cap. Didn't see you there. Yeah, I'll bet you did. This is a traffic case. You need something? I'm here to buy a drink for the two LAPD traffic cops who broke the back of Guy McAfee's private army. <laughs> you don't have a problem with that, do you, Captain? Yes, he does. Go right ahead. Get in. I'm buying. Wow. You'll like this place. A lot of movie people hang out here. You like jazz, Cole? The hopheads love it. Sure, I guess. Big bands and swing. Sure, I, I guess. But this bebop palaver? How are you supposed to dance to that? This is Phelps, Leroy. Be nice to him. You'll like this place. They treat you right. I sure hope so. Like a table, right? What do you think we want to do? Stand at the bar like I'll chumps? Get a table ready for you. Don't look so happy to see me, Alphonse. I might get the wrong impression. Cole, this is Alphonse. He's a French Negro from Africa. Can you beat that? The Congo. A pleasure to meet you, Alphonse. Is Elsa singing tonight? Yes, yeah, she is. She has the next set. Come on, Cole. You can meet Elsa while they're fixing us a table. You'll like her. She's something else. Maybe another night, Roy. She's pretty beat up about it. Get your hands off me. Don't ever tell me what to do or what not to do, Alphonse. 
You got a nice club here. Don't spoil it. If you will follow me, detectives. Just through the door. Wow. It was my only real friend, Harlan. We went through it all. Do you realize what he meant to me? Of course I do. You have no idea. You said it was construction work. It was an industrial accident, Elsa. How can I be held responsible? Elsa, are you going on? Louis, for God's sake, he was my oh. best friend. The only man who ever loved me without putting his hands on me. Hi, Elsa. Here's someone I'd like you to meet. Cole Phelps, war hero and crime fighter extraordinaire. And why would I want to meet another fascist from the LAPD? Sorry about this, Cole. What an evening I'm having. First a Negro puts his hands on me, and then this. Oh my god. Who do you think you're talking to, you German junkie whore? Don't you ever forget your place with me again. Do you hear me? Evening, Doc. How's business? Sanguine. Louis, help me here. I'm gonna have to give her something before her performance. Blow it off, Cole. These artsy-fartsy types always get a little flighty. Meet Dr. Harlan Fontaine, doctor to the stars. Mr. Fix-It to the mental wreckage of Hollywood. So what about that drink, boys? I don't remember this part. Oof. Wow. Well, that's wicked. Okay. Well, that'll do it for this episode. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will catch you guys next Wednesday. Thank you all for the support. Goodbye. Goodbye.